Welcome to my YouTube channel where we demonstrate and discuss everything related to theatrical and entertainment production crafts. Please subscribe to get the latest updates, posts, and demonstrations. While I will focus primarily on safety in the shops and comprehensive training and operating procedures for tools and machinery, I'll also demonstrate and discuss practical applications like flat and platform construction, scene painting, and more. If you'd like to see something specific, please let me know in the comments. Once again, please subscribe and power up the alert bell to get the most up-to-date notifications about new content. I have a stack of platforms here. They're all rejects for one reason or another. They're not rejects necessarily because of age, but more rejects because of construction style or non-standard stock equipment. One of the things I prefer to do when building platforms is that I build all of my platforms with screws and screw everything together as opposed to using glue and staples. And one of the reasons for having things screwed together is the threads of the screw give you a little extra grip and strength that a staple with glue does not have. Because when we're moving these platforms around, we're yanking on them a lot. If these joints are not screwed together, but they're glued and stapled, all that repeated tugging and yanking and shoving is going to be putting stress on that joint. And no matter how much glue and how well you glued that, all that stress is going to eventually give and that's gonna come apart. So if you're reusing your platforms, screwing them together and not using glue is my recommended approach. You can staple stuff together if you want, but you're basically making a platform once to throw it away. The other advantage of having your platform screwed together without glue is that if a piece or component of them fails at some point in their life and you need to replace it, it's easy to replace. If everything's glued together, if it's screwed and glued, or if it's stapled and glued, or nailed and glued, then you try to pull it apart and replace a piece and then you have to clean up all that broken wood and all that glue mess and try to create a clean joint again. But if it's all screwed together, I can quickly disassemble a piece and take a piece out and replace it with a new piece. So let's say this end piece is no longer any good and I need to replace it. It's real easy to do. Three screws here. Three screws in back. And probably there should be two or three screws across there. And there's one screw. Now this piece comes out and it's cracked. Let's say it's split down the middle. I can cut another piece and I can replace it. And that is a real useful thing to do with platforms that you were going to use over and over and over again and try to get five, 10 years out of a piece of scenery that you're going to be able to use on multiple shows. Not gluing it means that, yeah, the, the joint isn't as strong as if I had glued it, but it makes for longevity and repair and maintenance much more feasible. Oh, look at that. And here's a piece that really needed to be replaced because these two screws on the end are too close to the edge of the wood and that's what caused it to split. It's, it's not only too close to the edge of this outside piece, but it's too close to the edge of this cross piece member. That should have been further down. This likely wouldn't have split out so badly. And since they were both crowding the edge, that meant that this was going to be more likely to split under a little bit of stress, which it has done. So let's take this out as if we were repairing it, but we are not repairing it. We're going to just throw it away because we're recycling this for material. And now that piece comes right out and we can throw it away. If we were recycling this, we might be able to rip it down and get a little piece of one by three, but I tend to throw away anything that's under two feet because 
we, we're constantly making scrap of little pieces. So throw this away. Throw away all the drywall screws. We don't reuse those and throw away my crappy piece of lumber. We're not going to replace that piece because I'm recycling this entire piece for scrap material. Now, when I take it apart, I'm going to probably throw these middle pieces away, but I'm going to have two nice long pieces of one by six that I can use for other projects. And I'm going to have a piece of plywood that I might save and might be able to save and reuse and repurpose. So if I'm building platforms that are a one-off specialty size or shape, again, it's best to screw them together without glue so that I can take them apart and recover all the parts and reuse them again for another show. If I'm made of money, I can just build everything and chop it up and throw it away. But we're not uh, mostly made of money in most theaters. In fact, we have, all have to work on a budget and we need to be as efficient and effective as possible. And we're also trying not to use up all these natural resources. We, this lumber is an expensive material and it's especially expensive now in 2022. And I don't know if the prices are gonna ever come down again to what they were pre-pandemic. Lumber is a premium, so you want to get the most out of it as possible. You want to be efficient in how you're cutting up your pieces and you want to uh, get as much long life out of them as you can. We're going to set this aside and tear it apart in a minute. This platform was glued and stapled. I can see the residue of glue inside, so I know it was glued, which basically means if I need to take this apart, if I need to repair it, I can't replace or repair any part. It's built once, it's the size it's going to be, it's never going to be easily shaped up. I can chop it off a piece of it and make a smaller platform and fill in the missing pieces. I can do things like that, but I can't uh, modify or repair the current pieces that are here. I think these are all the same size, but let's just double check this. Uh, we're a little over six inches by an eighth of an inch or so. This one's also stapled together. I don't know if it's glued. I don't see any evidence of glue. Uh, it might be glued. It might just be stapled together. And sometimes people will staple the lids to the platform. And I think that's a dangerous thing because when you put a leg in here, it rests up against that top layer of plywood. And I can screw it together here and I can screw it together there. But if any of my screws fail, now that plywood is going to rest on my leg. And as I'm walking on it, this is going to start to separate if the lid is not screwed to the framing. If it's just stapled, then all the weight of the platform is going down through the leg and the, the framing is just going to collapse. So that's why I would prefer to always screw my lids on rather than gluing and stapling my lids. In any case, even for something that's one off, if you're going to be legging things up in a traditional legging pattern, then if your lid is stapled and, and, and glued or just stapled to the platform, you're running the risk of any leg failure causing that lid and framing to separate. The threads of the screw just will hold longer and grip those two things together better. I'm destroying this one, so I'm just gonna pawn this apart. We're gonna find out if this is glued and stapled or just stapled. And there is some evidence of glue. Yeah, it was glued together, so. There we go. So they just pry, pry apart like that really easily with a little bit of force. So imagine that you're building a set and you're handling all these pieces. Those stapled pieces, if you're moving your pieces around a lot, saving them being part of stock, they're just gonna start to fall apart more quickly over time just from handling. This might be screwed together, so that might be why this didn't uh, come apart here on the bottom, but let's flip that over and find out. And yes, we're screwed together. This is screwed together, so that means we can save the plywood lid.
those are my thoughts on building platforms and approaches and which ways work best and what I like to do in my shop. Again, you're going to do the thing that's right for your shop, for your set, for your situation, for your repeatability and reuse of materials. I just wanted to do this as an overview to kind of see some construction techniques and see what I think works and what I think doesn't work and how that will impact your production shop if you choose to follow the same techniques and methods that I do. I hope that gives you some idea of how to approach platform construction and gives you some techniques you can choose to use and you'll see which ones I prefer and why I prefer those. We'll look more closely at this when we build a platform, when I get to that video and when we go over legging techniques. We'll talk about screw patterns and attachment points for different types of legs. So hope this is useful. Thank you.